Paano isolve ang geometric series? Tara at pag-usapan natin yan dito. Manood, makinig, mag-enjoy at matuto. Hi everyone! Welcome sa lesson natin yung araw. So ngayon naman, pag-uusapan natin ang tungkol kay geometric series. Ayan. So let me first start by giving you the definition of this one. Ano nga ba si geometric series? So geometric series is the sum of all the terms of a geometric sequence. So paano yon Ang itsura nun? Ganto lang. So we have three given geometric sequences here. So ang gagawin lang natin para maging series yan, ipagpa-plus natin. So 1 plus 2 plus 4. Ayan. So, ayan ang itsura ng series. Yung 1 plus 2 plus 4. Then, yung sum ng geometric series ay yung 7. So, pa-plus mo lang. Ayan. So, 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8. Sobrang plus. Sorry dyan. So, ito ay 15. So, ito ang sum ng geometric series. Pero, ito ang geometric series. Ito naman. So, 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 16 plus 32. Ito ang series. Geometric series. Then, ito ang sum of geometric series. Ayan. So ngayon, ituro ko sa inyo kung paano naman uh, tayo makakaiwas dito sa continuous addition. Hindi natin ito gagamitin. Because we're going to use the formula for the geometry series para mas mapadali yung pag so solve natin. So in what is that formula? Ito yon Kailangan sa uluhin, S sub n is equal to A sub 1 multiplied by R raised to n minus 1 all over R minus 1. Ayan. So sa uluhin yung formula, Formula, be familiar with this para madali kayo makapag-solve ng geometric series. So, let's have our first example. Find the sum of the first five terms of the geometric sequence, 2, 8, 32. So, ang given sa atin tatlo lang, pero first five terms ang pinapahanap sa atin. Ayan. So, let's do this and let's solve this using the formula. Actually, meron namang other way. Pwede mong kunin yung... 4th term, 5th term, tapos i-plus mo ng mano-mano, pwede naman yon. But here, I'm going to show you kung paano ginagamit yung formula. So, ayan. So, let's get started. Formula given solution, let's start with formula. Tanda dapat ang formula na to. S sub n is equal to A sub 1 multiplied by R raised to n, then minus 1 all over R minus 1. Let's have the given. Ang A sub 1 ay 2. Alam natin yan kasi ang A sub 1 ay 1st term. So, eto yon. Dito tayo titingin sa sequence na meron. Ang a sub 1 ay 2. Okay. Next, paano makukuha si r? Okay, paano nakuha si 4? Ang r natin ay 4. Common ratio daw ay 4. How do we do that? Ah, uh, ganto. Si 8, i-divide mo sa 2. Para makuha natin yung common ratio. 8 divided by 2, that will give us 4. Same as this one. So, 32 divide 8, that is give us 4. So, positive 4. Or 2 times 4, magiging 8. 8 times 4, magiging 32. So, ganun siya. So, yan ang common ratio natin. Next is n. n ay 5 kasi 5 ang pinapahanap. So, kung ano ang laging dulo, siya ang magiging n natin. So, kung 5, of course, pang 5 ang dulo natin. Ayan. So, this is now the given. Okay na to. So, let's have the solution. So, for solution, don't forget the formula. Kailangan yun lagi. Then, after lagi ng formula, substitute. Kung ano yung nakuha natin given, ilagay mo dito sa formula na meron. Ayan. So, S sub 5 na. Bakit naging 5? Kasi ang N dun ay 5. So, lahat ng 5, lahat ng N na makikita mo gawin mong 5. So, eto naging 5, eto naging 5. So, correct. R. Lahat na makita mong R gawin mong 4. Ayan. So, R naging 4. Si R naging 4. Correct. Tapos, yung A sub 1 natin ay 2. Lahat na makita mong A sub 1. Isa lang naman. O, magiging 2. Ayan. And make sure dapat etong naka-raise sa N, naka-parenthesis. Take note of that. Lagi mo siyang ilagay sa parenthesis. Ayan. And this is now uh, yung itsura kapag nakapag-substitute na tayo. Next. Ayan. So, unahin natin to. Yung 4 raised to 5. So, how do we do that? Diba kapag sinabi exponent, ilang beses kung multiply ang 4 sa sarili? Limang beses. So, ganito yan. 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 4. Solve mo lang yon. Ilalagay mo siya dito. 
Tapos pwede mo na rin isolve yung 4 minus 1. Ayan. Ayan. Ang 4 is to 5 ay 1,024. Tapos yung minus 1, dyan pa lang yan. 2, paano na kuhang 3? Of course, minus lang to. 4 minus 1 ay 3. Solve muna natin to. 1,024 minus 1. That is 1,023. So, may times 2 pa dun sa labas and over 3. So, multiply muna natin. 2 times 1,023. That's 2,046 over 3. Ayan. Then, divide mo lang yung 2,046 sa 3. And, we'll have the sum. Which is 642. Ibig sabihin, kapag kinuha natin yung limang terms tas pinag natin lahat, ito yung magiging sagot. 682. And that is now the final answer. So that's how you use the formula ng geometry series. Let's have another example para mas makuha natin. Find the sum of the first seven terms of a geometric sequence, 5, 10, 20, so on and so forth. Again, ito pwede mong gawin, kunin mo lahat yung hanggang sa pang pito, tapos saka mo siya i-plus. But here, ang ginagawa natin ay kung paano gagamitin yung formula para mas mapadali tayo. Kasi, what if ito ay 50, 50 terms? Are you going to write the 50 terms and then add? So, I would not suggest that. So, I, hindi ko gagawin yun. Kasi, yung 50 terms pa lang, baka may makaligtaan ka doon, may mali kang multiply. So, sa kalagitnaan, mamamali na yung magiging sum mo. And here, using the formula, susundan mo lang. Kukunin mo lang yung mga given, tapos, sundan mo lang kung paano siya isosolve. And in that way, mas mapapadali tayo. Ayan. So, use the formula, then given, a sub 1 ay 5, of course, kasi first term siya. Ang r natin ay 2, paano nakuha? Divide lang, yung second sa first, third sa second. So, 10 divide 5 is 2, 20 divide 10 is 2, nilagay yan ko lang ng times para alam nyo na, nagta-times siya na nagta-times ng 2. And this is the common ratio. Next, ang n. Ang n ay kung ano yung dulo. So, pang pito. So, pito ang dulo niya. So, 7 na ang n natin. Okay, we're done with the given. Let's go to solution. Don't forget the formula. Laging ganon. Then, after ng formula, laging gagawin ay substitute. So, by doing that, at yung lalabas. Lahat na makita mong n, gawin mong 7. Kaya, naging 7 ito. Ayan, naging 7 din yung exponent. Next, lahat ng a sub 1, isa lang naman yon ilalagay mo ay 5. Ayan, correct. Lahat ng r na makita mo, gawin mong 2. Ayan. So, eto na parenthesis pa, kahit nasa loob na siya ng parenthesis, ganun po dapat lagi. Kapag naka-raise, lagi mong ilalagay sa parenthesis. Ayan. Then, unang gawin, isolve mo na to. Multiply mo yung 2 ng 7 beses. Kasi nga, sabi ng exponent, gusto ko 7 beses. Kaya, times mo yung 2 ng 7 times. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So, 7. Kung anong sagot doon, ilagay mo dyan. Then, pwede mo na itong isolve yung 2 minus 1. Ayan. So, 5. Ang 2 raised 7 ay 128. So, minus 1. So, over 1 na lang yung baba. Kasi nga, 2 minus 1. And yung over 1, di ba ang lahat naman ng fraction may over 1? Lahat naman ng integers, lagi yung may over 1. So, pwede mo na itong tanggalin kasi over 1 na naman siya. Ayan. Matitira na lang ay yung 5 times 128 minus 1. That's 5 multiplied by 127. Let's multiply mo lang yan and we'll have the sum. So as simple as that. So we'll have the final answer na 635. And this will now be the sum of those 7 terms ng geometric sequence natin. Ayan. So that's how we deal with this formula. Ayan. So, kung ready ka na, let's have our humor jail. So I'll give you one problem. Find the sum of the first six terms of a geometric sequence, 7, 21, 63, so on and so forth, hanggang sa six terms. Ayan, so I'll pause for a while now, and I'll get back to you to give the answer. But if you still need time, feel free to pause the video. Your timer starts now.
Ayan, so time's up. So let us now answer this one. Alright, so find the sum of the first six terms of geometric sequence, 7, 21, 63. Ayan, so pinapahanap yung anim. Again, pwede mong kunin yung anim, tapos i-plus mo lang lahat, pwedeng ganon. But be careful lang. But here, I'm going to show you the formula and how you're going to use that. So formula, write the formula, of course, S7 is equal to A sub 1 multiply by R is 10 minus 1 all over R minus 1. Given. Given na A sub 1, A7. Ayan. Then, ang R is 3. Paano nakuha? By dividing second term to first, third to second. Ayan. 21 divide 7, A3. 63 divide 21, A3 din. So, ang common ratio natin, A3. Next, ang N. Kung pang ilan, yung dulo. 6. N is equal to 6. So, let's have the solution. Of course, copy the formula. Then, substitute. Lahat ng N na makita mo, gawin mong 6. So, ito naging 6, ito naging 6. Lahat ng A sub 1, gawin mong 7. A sub 1 ay naging 7, correct? Lahat ng R, gawin mong 3. Naging 3, of course, nakaparentesis dapat kasi nakaraise. Tapos, 3 din yung isang R sa baba. So, ayan. So, tama to. Next, solve mo muna to. 3 raised to 6. Multiply 3, 6 times. 3 times, 3 times, 3 times, 3 times, 3 times, 3. So, anong sagot doon? Solve mo lang. Tapos, ang 3 minus 2, solve mo na din. That's 2. Ayan, so 7 times 7, 21 minus 1. Ito yung sagot dito sa 3 raised to 6. Tapos minus lang natin to. 7, 21 minus 1. That is 7, 28. Tapos yung 7 nandun pa rin, saka yung 2. Then multiply 7 times 728. Ayan. So that's 5,096. Then after, divide mo na lang sa 2. 5,096 divide to I, 2,548. And this is now the sum of the 6 terms ng given dito. Ayan. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope natuto ka ngayong araw. And I want to see you in our next video. Bye-bye! Thank you, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed and learned something today. And if you did, please do share this to your friends who needs this lesson the most as well. And, huwag mong kakalimutan mag-subscribe and i-click ang notification bell para maging updated sa mga latest videos natin dito sa Humor PA. And don't forget that you deserve more, you can learn more, and you can be more. Hashtag, you more PH. Bye-bye. See you in our next video.